Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Today we learn where everything from Gadgetron comes from. Yes, we are going to Gadget, uh, Gadgetron's main HQ. Today I also learned that I indeed played as Luigi in my Galaxy <laughs> playthrough. <laughs> I'm very resourceful. And by that I mean I still had to file somewhere on my computer. Me, yeah, meanwhile, for some reason, this Rex is here too. To become annoying. I'm not sure why I bother with you incompetent idiots. All right, I'll try this one more time. You are my most elite troops. I'm sending you down. I also find it hilarious when there's like those troublemakers. Now go. A, a bad go. guy, but you have his minions. To to get rid like, of them. he's a, he's not even at crotch height. Yeah, he really well, isn't. How did how did they not mutiny against him? Because Drex smart. Drex smart, and in the in the uh, the Blarigs are stupid. It does take a smart man to take advantage of stupid people. Yeah. Yeah. I could make a so I could make a joke uh, with social commentary. Maybe, we're not but gonna, but we're not gonna make one. We're not it. gonna make one. Yeah, welcome to honestly the the most kind of nice looking planet in the game. Sunny's I wouldn't say it's a matter. I wouldn't say it's a, a nice looking planet. Just a clean looking planet. <laughs> yeah, that. clean. But I, but honestly, I think this is my favorite looking planet in this game. That's a real beauty. And unlike Pokitaru, oh hey, this oh, planet nice is not isn't really that bad in terms of difficulty. It, there there are some moments, but it's not awful. I also like how I, I like how they have these like escalators that are are not going walk going uh, automatic, above or below. Yeah, automatic like, uh, automatic walking uh, bots. Like. These, these are the fucking Disneyland or airport kind of... I, I couldn't even call them escalators. Like, what, what do I call these? They they work as an escalator, but they don't escalate. Yeah. I'm like, what are you? <laughs> I just call them walking floors. I, I, I mean, I guess it kind of makes floors. sense. I got some great but bargains for you today. Isn't technically every floor a walking floor? Because a floor you walk on. Therefore, every floor is a walking floor. Oh, and they do change direction. That's that's good. Yeah. At the same time, I, I do love it when a video game allows you to. You know, walk again, walk into the the wrong side of the of the escalator. Like, I, I remember when Sega just uh, released Judgment, and in that game there's uh, there's an internet cafe with a working escalator. I also believe that was the first time any RGG game had uh, escalators in it. And on their on their Twitter, they basically were like, "Hey, if, if you did this." Uh, don't worry, we all did, and they just showed a clip of like, um, what's his name, um, the Agame walking on the wrong side of the, of the escalator. I, I love it when games allow me to do that kind of- I, I love it when games have, you know, working escalators in the first place. Like, that's not the kind of detail you expect out of a game, it's not the kind of detail you need out of a game, but it still shows how much a company is willing to simultaneously waste its time, but at the same time, you, you just focus on little details. Like, the, the first time I, I saw this was in, I believe, GTA San Andreas, when I played it as a, as a kid, and that was the kind of thing where I was like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. And yeah, while we're on it, I mean, I, I also just love it when games do 
staircase is right. Like, a lot of games out there don't have proper animations for walking on stairs. So they just make but it, then, yeah, they just make it jump on to sit up the stairs. Well, it's only really any Bethesda game that makes you jump up the stairs. There, there are certain platformers that do that. There are certain platformers that do that. And no, we're yeah, I, and no, we're not. No, and no, I don't mean like, like of uh, the block type stairs. I mean actual stair stairs. So what kind of platforms do you have in mind? Um, uh, you mean the ones I don't count? No, the, the ones you do count. So the ones where you have to actually jump to get on the stairs. Um, basically, I, I do believe one of the Spyro games had one of those. Yeah. Um, if it's actually set up as a staircase, but basically because they don't want to animate you walking up, they basically put the um, put the next uh, next stair flight up high enough to um. So you can't automatically step up on it, you have to jump up it. Right. But, you know, eventually, it wasn't stairs that went to premium video games, but actually elevators. Because, hey, that means we have another method of hiding loading screens. Yeah, I don't mind elevators as loading screens. Nobody. Okay, I, I guess it depends on the game. Like, I, I know that people kind of made this think about it in when Mass Attack uh, 1 did it. But that was only because Mass Effect 1 did it like, did it like so many times. That being said, I still need to play Mass Effect 1 these days. Mass Effect's not that bad. I. I probably might do it for the channel, I don't know. I still actually need to stream that series. I mean, you streamed the first game. Yeah, but that was before the um, Legendary Collection, so I kind of want to do the Legendary Collection Edition version. And that was also before you certain things happened on my channel. Yeah. I don't know, I, I, I just... I just remember you streaming it, it was, it was quite fun. Yeah, but, no, I did have one too. You mentioned you're going to do it for the channel, right? Yeah. Oh wait, what? The game is only 17 hours. Oh, these games are short. Even if you're going for, maybe I should play these. Yeah, they're, they're actually not that bad. They're more. They're way more. Also, I hate the. This is one thing that bugs me about the fucking um. Love of Doom. It's like, you little bastards, get that guy! Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're RPGs, but they aren't, but they're Bethesda RP. Oh, no. They're Bio... Bioware. Bio <laughs> like, goddammit. I have no idea why I was saying Bioshock. Probably to remind me I still need to play those as well. Which I do like. Like, I like both of them. I like one a lot more. I still make the Bioshock one. Bioshock. So I've actually played all three games of so, uh, Bioshock. Alright. <laughs> Wait, really? This idiot played Bioshock? Yes. I play other games other than platformers. Jesus, 109.99 gigabytes. For Mass Effect? Yeah, Legendary Edition. Jesus. That's fuck. all three games. Because it's all three games. It's so ridiculous. Hang on, hang on. It's it, better than better than better than Final Fantasy 15. Mass Effect, Mass Effect. Okay, yeah, but that's including like high resolution textures and whatnot. <laughs> okay, Mass Effect One original version, 15.80 gigabytes or 15.8 gigabytes. Mass Effect 2, 18.3, and Mass Effect 3, 22.31. So, like, you can bundle them together, but that's only, like, 60% of it. How did, how did they increase 
the overall size with like 60% or 66.6%. How did they do that? Magic! Or Compress the magic of compression! Which only Nintendo seems to basically understand. Well, well, no, 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 no. Compression implies it, it's getting, it's getting smaller, and in this case, it, it got bigger. Oh. That, that, sorry, that was that, okay. That was me. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you say that, but isn't Xenoblade Chronicles like 30 gigabytes? That's Xenoblade X. I don't know about the. I don't know how big the other, the other, the rest of the games of series are, although I could actually check too. I'm actually going to grab my Switch for account. But I actually Excuse have Switch, uh, two downloaded. If you were concerned and about the, uh, the other two invasion? Son, our defenses are the yeah, best I, money can buy. Don't give it another I've try. I've got the, um, I've got my Switch here board? as well. Yeah. So you don't own Xenoblade. I am in search of a hidden gun. No, but I would represent my newest that. line of board. Some of my kids can look up too. And he said, with or without a DLC? With, that's with Torna. That's with Torna. Test bots in a race. For, for record, Fortnite is 17.2 on the Switch. Well, yeah, but that includes, like, all those game modes that you have where you don't play. Yeah, but still, it's like... Right? Yeah. Yeah, true, but still. Anyway, one last hoverboard racing, and this is actually a lot harder. This, okay, this... and the Chronicles 3 plus, plus expansion pass, according to the store page, is 18.7. That's not bad. That is not bad. Not at all. Yeah, like I said, Nintendo knows how to compress their shit. I wish other companies did. Well, it, it's also it, it's also that they it, it's only for the Switch. Yeah, true. So. Like the, the problem with a lot of PC textures, for example, is that you download you download the game, but even if you have like a low-end computer, you still download the high-resolution textures. Yeah. Which is why a game like Grand Theft Auto V on PC is about 120 gigabytes. I want to say uh, that's with updates, by the way. Yeah. Uh, but the original PS3 edition was like, I think it was 30 gigabytes. And, you know, it, it's the same map. I'm actually gonna look up how long, how big the, um, the game is. Uh, GTA 5? Yeah, at least a PS3 version. I'm pretty okay. confident that it's like 120 gigabytes on PC. Okay. Wow, not even 30, like, 15.64? That's not bad. So, like, the PC version is about seven times the size of the PlayStation 3 version. Yeah, but also a reminder that PS3 is also kind of a pretty that weak system, too. Like, I, I like, it like, was the strongest system board. of the generation. Uh, really? Now? I could have sworn that the yeah. I could have sworn that the 360 right was the strongest. What comes no, the Xbox Roy, 360 got perceived uh, to be the the strongest. Um, uh, on paper, the PS3 uh, was the strongest, but the architecture was the one that developers were struggling with. Yeah, and there were a lot of there was a lot of resources that were basically either underutilized. Hey, or thinking. poorly utilized, which is kind of why a lot of first-party PlayStation <laughs> games, you know, stuff like your MotorStorm this? or your... Okay, I was about to say Yakuza, but Yakuza wasn't first-party, but because it was heavily made for Japanese market, like, you, you know how the console architecture is yeah. on, in Japan. Xbox basically has no presence there, so if a game is focused on Japanese market... But they are starting to. 
You awesome. sure? You yeah, they are. While disguised, we'll deactivate the holo guys. All right. Now we have the holo guys. Interesting note. The um, the the guy says you have to be with Gadget Farm for two years before you get to discount. I also will be repeating this little tidbit in uh, at the end of this playthrough and at the beginning of, of Up Your Arsenal. Why at the beginning of Up Your Arsenal? Two years since the first game. And you and Gadgetron is your main weapon vendor for Up Your Arsenal. So you actually do get a to get discounts on the weapons for for up your arsenal. Does no. it give you a for does it give you a further discount if you have a Ratchet and Clank one save file? It has to be Ratchet and Clank one. Oh. The thing it checks for is the hollow guys. The Hollow Guys is your is basically what is basically how the game um, what the game uses for um, proof of Ratchet being being part of Gadgetron. Also, if you look down at the um, in the water, you actually can see glowing spots. You're you're riding above the racetrack. Like you're actually grinding above the hoverboard racetrack. You clearly made that game. You clearly <laughs> made the same detail. Also, I, I will say, while I, I find the concept of real grinding pretty cool, I, I do find it kind of bullshit cool that you don't regenerate hit points while you're on there. Like, yeah. if it's a small time thing, that it's fine, but like. This is a pretty long segment, and... Yeah, this yeah. actually is really long. And I don't think there's a skill point for getting through without taking a hit. I'm checking right now. So how do you feel about the real grinding sections in Crash Bandicoot 4 compared to these? They're not bad. They're not bad. Although I've actually barely reached any stages with those, them that I can remember, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot about Crash Bandicoot 4 that I cannot remember. You do, you need the on yeah. in order to get that gold bolt, you need needed to um hit all those switches on the line rail that went in a loop, the one that before I I died before. Well, the one after I died on, so. We finally get to meet the help desk girl. I hope she's cute. Uh, well, she's oh, cute, man. but she's robot. Uh, so, uh, come here. Your often. point? Actually, I work here, <laughs> so I come here all the time. Uh, oh, robots yeah. can be hot. Have you have you seen I Futurama? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you do have to get. Yeah, there is a skill point for hitting the um, getting through the getting through the grind rail without taking it taking a hit. But it's a lot like we saw. It's a lot longer than what we have. Yeah, welcome to the map matic It's like it says you can be used to find secret areas. Secret areas will be highlighted on the map. It's basically used whenever you, you go to the map. Oh my god, you already have 30,000 volts. I want more. You, you, you don't you don't need it. I want more. You don't need it. I want more. You have a, you have enough. I want more. I don't care. I want more bolts. I do. Anyway, you notice you're you're, yeah. you're, di you're disrupting a you're disrupting a delicate economy. I don't care. Well, I do. Inflation is a bitch. Do you want your money to become worthless? No. Exactly. Then stop disrupting the economy. Fine. I'll support the economy. There, bargains. I gave you money. You bought a can of coke. Yeah, I and did. That's disgusting. <laughs> and I also now have, have eight hit points. 
Legitimately though, fucking burping? That's an that's an Xbox thing. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's what you get hooked up on? Ratchet letting out a loud one? At least he didn't fart. True. Like I, like I kind of prefer when games do, do like a burping thing than way more than farting. Like burp, burping is kind of, yeah, burp, both are natural, but it's like I, I'm less disgusted by burping than farting. Yeah, well, obviously. I mean, I kind of feel like they shouldn't do neither. I, I mean... True. I, I wouldn't say that one is more childish than the other one. Why are we having this conversation? 